All right, let's move on to our coaching carousel because yes, this is its final run, ladies and gentlemen. Nuggets associate head coach Wes Unsell Jr. has indeed agreed to a four-year contract as the next head coach of the Washington Wizards. He was introduced mm. yesterday. He marks a good hiring cycle for African-American head coaches. In this hiring cycle, black head coaches have filled six of the seven openings. That doesn't even include Nate McMillan, who was marked as an interim head coach in midseason when he took over for Lloyd Pierce and got an extension this offseason with the Hawks. So first of all, I just want to give a personal shout out to Wes Unsell Jr. I grew up in the D.C. area. Wes Unseld is just a god among gods. If you were a Bolts fan, not only for what he did on the court, but what he did with the franchise afterward for so many years, Wes Unseld Jr. earned his place with so much work over these yeah, decades as absolutely. an assistant coach. Everywhere he has gone, people have raved about him. It feels a little bit to me like Steven Silas, who yeah. was sort of one of the most yep. overqualified assistants to not have a head coaching job, and now he finally has one. But I do want to ask you, Richard, about the larger picture here. Six of seven, that is really what a lot of coaches and players have been asking for. Well, I, I think it's just more representative of the league, mm -hmm. right, when you look at the overall population of the league, if you will. But, no, look, a lot of these coaches have done, you know, Bennett. I had Jamal Mosley mm -hmm. as an as a assistant coach. Uh, I, I've been with Wes M. Seldon, two, two different teams, teams, right? Yes, two different teams that both went to the postseason, mm -hmm. right? So you're an assistant coach on two different teams that yep. went to the postseason, one with the Warriors, one with the Nuggets. And so you look at the, what the Nuggets have been doing. You look at what the Warriors have been built into. Mm -hmm. And these are the individuals that are responsible for a lot of that success. So, you know, now they get the opportunity. And I'm already looking forward to the next batch of head coaches because you know how this cycle continues. Yep. Hopefully the next opportunity we'll get, we'll get a female uh, and there's, there's mm -hmm. some other coaches that get those opportunities well I think the way that the style has changed for us the NBA is all about how you're going to get your players to respond sure and you got to put somebody at the head of the snake that could relate to them that's going to speak their language that's going to go go in there and be able to hold them accountable but also know what's going on in the outside world and why I say that because it's so much that's going on with social media and things to that nature that you have to be able to relate in their terms. And I think we have seen that throughout the playoffs when you look at the final fours, right? Ty Lu, you look at, you know, uh, uh, Nate, McMillan. Nate McMillan. You look at all these coaches that had that impact, a different voice in the locker room, and you get different results. Huh? Yeah, and look, it's some great quotes, too, from Michael Malone in Denver, who, of course, had employed Wes Unsell Jr. most recently. Uh, Michael was saying that Wes came to him and said, hey, if I take this Washington job in particular, are people going to think it's just because of my dad? And mm. Michael Malone reminded him, hey, I'm the son also, remember, Michael uh -huh, Malone yeah. is Brendan Malone's son. Right. That doesn't get brought up that much anymore because of everything that Michael has done in his tenure with the Nuggets and before that, of course, as well. And Wes Unseld Jr. will be an asset to the Wizards, just like his father was with the Bullets and just like Michael Malone being the son of Brendan, earned every bit of that spot and is going to do just, I think he's going to do a tremendous job. As someone, a Washington, D.C. area native, I could not be more excited about this hire. It's pretty, pretty cool. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.